Tragedy over the holiday break as students in our area return to school to learn the COVID-19 pandemic has taken lives of beloved educators. Two school districts in Montgomery County are dealing with the loss and helping telecom staff and teachers get through it as COVID cases surge. NBC 10's Deanna Durante is live in White Marsh Township where families learned of the loss to the school community hours before they were set to return after the holiday. Deanna. The parking lot here at Colonial Elementary should have been filled this morning and this afternoon with school buses, parents dropping off their kids in car line. But as you said, late last night, the community was notified of a significant loss of one of their educators. Merry Christmas! Her excitement and joy, easy to see in Brittany Louderback's social media feeds in the days before Christmas, showing off her creative decorations and playing homemade holiday games with her husband. Brittany had a wonderful relationship with our students. Serving Colonial School District as an educational aide, those who knew her say she was much more, pitching in all over the school and known to most of the kids here. Her family has been communicating with our principal uh, and sharing that and emphasizing how much she loved working in education and working with children. Yay! Active in multiple social media platforms, she announced her diagnosis on the 27th, listed her symptoms on New Year's, and late yesterday, complications from the virus, the school says, took the 33-year-old's life. Brittany isn't the only educator in the region to fight the COVID battle. In North Penn, kids there learned a 17-year veteran, Andrew Jenkins, who taught social studies and coached, passed away. The district notifying students, saying that nothing made him happier than seeing children excited about learning, and he was one of the most loving teachers at Penfield Middle School. And Jenkins received so much joy as a teacher that his spirit will live on with the students and staff for years to come. Both districts are offering support and additional counseling to students as they reopen to children after the devastating losses. It's such a challenging balance because we want to keep schools open, we want to keep kids learning, but we also need to keep them safe. And it is something that school communities are dealing with, especially after the winter holiday, that balance of bringing kids back. We're told here at Colonial when classes resume tomorrow, there will be counselors here for the children. We're also told by the administration that ever since Thanksgiving, there has been an uptick in demand for staff testing. And the administration says they'll provide those tests to the staff members to determine if they're uh, exposed or have COVID-19 as long as they request them. Reporting live in White Marsh Township, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.